So in today's class, what we are going to be talking about is basically V and X lookup. We are basically going to be talking about V and X lookup. I believe everybody can see my screen now. Can you all see my screen? Can you all see my screen? Can you all see my screen? Okay. Now, if you look at this data set, I believe this should be the one you have in your class also, uh, in the video, in the recorded video. This should be the one you have. But if you did not have it, let me use the opportunity to drop it for you. I will drop it after, after your class today so that you can go through it and also practice. And um, the, the, for our first, in the, our first class, you notice a lot of people were saying we should actually be giving assignments and stuff. So, how many of us did our uh, last assignment? I gave an assignment, something like uh, just the practice. How many of us were able to practice? Last week we did um, conditional formatting. So, and if I check that group, is I don't think anybody dropped any screenshots there. So, I just look at it now. I just have just two people that practice. So you can see. You can see now, right? So that's that about that. So I was saying it that day that it's not everybody if you give if I give an assignment, it's not everybody that will do it. So you see now. Okay, so let's continue now. Let's have this, let's um see how this information works now if you check we have our order right we have product the order the customer the order did and the order id and if you check right here we have customer's order right we have order id and we have customer id and if you check on the customer id what we uh, we did not have the customer's name so if you want to use the customer, if you want to get the customer's name now, you'll have to come to the customer table, which is the customer sheet, to get the customer's information. Just say, for instance, now to get this first customer, the customer with this ID, right? The customer with this ID. So I'll just copy the ID, then I can come here now and find it. Then I'll highlight it, I can say Control F to find. So if I use so I'll just press Ctrl F. So now what I can do here, I can paste the customer ID that I copied earlier, right here. Then I can click on find next. So this is fine. It will look for the customer with that ID for me. Now, V and X lookup makes it easy for us to be able to track something like this. So now I have the other ID right here. And they just ask me to get all the full names of each customer. So I should get the full name of all the customer that are present here. I should get their name. So I can't become, I can't take, I can't be using um, find every single time to do that. I can't just, it's not, it's not going to make sense for me to just copy the customer ID, then come to this sheet and find it. Then I will now come back here, then type the name. It, it won't make sense like that. So VLOOKUP help us in, in doing something like that. So now I want to get the customer's name for this order, for this customer ID, right? Customer ID 100. Customer ID 100. So I want to get the uh, 100, 10,127. Please give me a minute, please. Yes, I'm back. Can you all hear me clearly? Can you all hear me clearly? How many people, are you all with me? No, you might not be able to hear me clearly because I have um 
like a cut in my my lips, so it does not allow me to speak properly. I don't know. So uh, everybody can hear me properly, clearly, right? Okay. Now, what they asked me to do is I should get all the customer's name, all the customer's name using the customer ID. I should get all the customer's name using the customer ID. So I can just highlight and insert a new column here. I think last week someone asked how I, how I did that. So I just highlight. After highlighting, right click and insert a new, a new column right here. So I just insert a new column here. And this column, I'm going to call it customer's name. Customer's name. So customer's name. Now I'm calling this a customer's name, right? So now I'm going to use VLOOKUP to look for the customer information, right? Using, we can't see your screen. Is that possible? How many of you cannot see my screen? I'm sharing my screen. Can you all see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yes or no? Okay. I think it's your network. Um, now, I, I want to use this customer ID to track the customer's name. Do you understand what I'm trying to do now? How many of us understand? If you don't understand, you can raise your hand so that I can unmute you so that uh, for me to be able to explain better. Do you understand what I'm trying to do or you still need me to explain better? We understand, just say yes, we understand. If not, no. Do we all understand or you did not understand? Okay. Okay. Um, okay, let me re explain. Sell yes, I'm going to re explain now. Now, maybe you are just joining the class. Maybe you are just joining the class. So I have customer ID, right? This customer ID, this person said they cannot hear me. And the person does not connect with audio. I'm coming. Okay, now, what I have here is, in this, in this, um, in this data set, if you look at this data set, right, I did not have any customer's name. What I just have is their ID. Just like, let's say, the matric number of each student. I just have the ID, right? So if I need the name now, I can come here to this sheet and search for the name. So which will take a whole lot of time for me. It's going to take a whole lot of time and, and energy for me to do that. So what I can do here, I can use, I will insert a blank group. I can use VLOOKUP to get the customer's name. That is, since I have the customer ID right here, and there's also customer ID right here, right? So I can use the customer ID to track the customer's name. Okay, let's do one example now. Let me use find. So let's say I want to look for the name of the customer with this ID, 10,127. I can come here now, highlight everything. I like this one. Let me zoom it in so that you can see it. So I like the customer ID, which is here. Then I can use Ctrl F to find. I'll just paste the customer ID, that ID that I copied from this other sheet. I'll just paste it here and say fineness. So this will get me where the customer ID is. So now I can see the name, I can see the gender, I can see the city, and I can see the country of that particular customer. But I, it's going to be very, very slow, and it won't make sense for me. They feel all this information doing find. I can't be finding them one by one. This is about 600, right? This, let's say about 500. So it won't make sense for me to be using find to do that. So we use V and X lookup to do that. So V or X lookup, brother. So let me, I'll call this column customer's name. So for the customer's name, I'm just going to say equals to VLOOKUP, right? Now, my VLOOKUP comes with some argument. The very best argument that I have is the lookup value. Lookup value. 
I am looking for this customer ID, right? I'm looking for this customer ID, comma. It's asking we in which table? It's asking for the table array in which table. So I just come here. I said I'm looking for it in this. Let me scroll this up. In this table, right from where it's going to start from. Uh, it's, um, uh, right from the beginning, rather, right from this customer ID, hold down my shift to the end, right? So I select all the tables. You can see it from A to E. That is from A down to E, all right? So I just put my comma. Now it's asking which column do I want it to return? Which column do I need to return? So I need it to return the full name, which is this, the full name, right? So now if we start counting, the first column is the customer ID, is the customer ID, which is column A. The second column is the column that contains the full name, which is column B, right? So here now it's asking for the index number. So instead of you to say A, B, you now put this in number. This is column one, this is column two. So you just put two right there, comma, and we always use false for the exact match. So just use false, false for the exact match. So just use false, then I'll close my brackets and press enter. So this should give me the name of the person that owns this ID, right? So uh, having that, so I can just copy this down, then I have all the information of everybody. I have all the names of this, of the customer. I have all the names of each customer. Do we get this? Do we get this? Are we on the same page? Do we get it? Okay, someone said no. Let's get the gender now. Let's just let's use the same thing to get the gender. It's complicated, it's not complicated. Let's use the same thing to get the gender. I wrote to me instead of gender. If you've not said get going through those videos, it's going to be a little bit complicated if you've not started going through those videos. So you need to start going through those materials you have with you. You need to start going through those materials you have with you. So, uh, but it's very, very simple. It's not something that's really hard. It's very, very simple. So I can just say equals to, right? V lookup, right? V lookup. What am I looking for? I'm looking for this. Okay, let's let's do it manually before we even use formula. Let's do it manually before we use formula, right? So, um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for this customer ID, right? I'm looking for the customer with this ID. So, I'm just going to select this ID now. I'm going to select this ID. So I'll just copy it. Now, where yeah, am I looking for it? I'm looking for it in this column, in this column, right? This particular column. So I can just use Control F to find it, then I'm paste the ID right here. Then, if I find it now, you can see I have the customer, I have the name, and I have the gender of this customer. So as you can see, the gender of this customer is female, right? This is the name of the customer, and this is the gender. So I can come to this other sheet now and say, okay, this first customer, which is this one, this first customer is a female. So I can type in a female right here. That is what I want it to return, right? I want it to return the gender. Do we all understand how I got this female now? Do we all understand how I got this email? Yes or no? Okay. Now that we understand that, let's now use it in formula. Let's use a formula to get that now. Now that we understand. So I'll just say equals to VLOOKUP, right? VLOOKUP. Now, if you remember, when I wanted to look for the gender, the very first thing that I used to identify that person is the customer ID, right? So that is your lookup value. So your lookup value is the thing that makes reference to the customer or to the 
to a particular room. So now I have customer ID right here. I have customer ID. So I'm just going to choose customer ID. Going to choose customer ID, comma. Then the table, the table is this customer. You know, after I copy this, then I came to this table and search this first column. So I search, I start searching from the first column, which contains the customer ID. So you just select from this first column, which contains. So if your if your customer ID is in this second column, that is where you are going to start. If it is in this third column, that's where you are going to start. But our customer ID is in the first column. So I chose the first column, then hold down my shift. I can select it to this last column because I still need it to return something from this column, right? Comma. Then, then after that, I need it to return the gender, right? So, you know, after we find the customer ID, then we went to check the gender of that particular customer. So now, here, you want it to return the gender. So the gender is in column three. So I have column one, column two, column three. So the gender is in column three, comma. I put three there, then comma. All you just have to do here is type in false for exact match. So you just put false for exact match. Then you can close your brackets and press enter. So you see, it bring out email for us. So I can just copy this down. Then you can see how it is. Do we understand this now? Or we should do one more? Do we all understand this? Or we should... Nobody's saying anything. No? One more. Okay. You, you are just joining. So if you are just joining, it's not my fault because we started earlier. You understand? So you will go through, you'll have to go through the replay. You'll have to go through the replay. So I believe we go through the replay, you understand. So let's do it again before we move to the Yeah, so we just joined. You'll have to go through the replay. So now let's say you want to get the city, the city of the customer. Now, there's something called master data. There's something called master data. Master data is a data that contains all the information in different, different sheets, right? So if you have, you know now, I have one sheet here, I have one sheet here, and I have another sheet here. So for me to bring in all those information and put it in one, table, in one sheet. So that sheet that contains all the information from different, different sheets is called master data. So now let's say we are building up the master data, right? So now we have the customer's name, we have the name, we have, we have the name, we have the gender, we have the city. So let's do the city now. So let's get the city. So I just say equals to VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP. Our lookup value is this customer ID. That is our lookup value. So our lookup value is the customer ID. I'll just select the customer ID, comma, our table array, our table array is right here, which is this customer table, right? So I just select from here my customer ID is down to the end, right? So now I've been able to select from A to E. Now who can guess what will be my column index number for the city? Who can guess my column index number for the city? Who can guess? Who can guess? Four, yes, it's four. So because if we count the column that I want it to return, one, two, three, and city is four, right? City is column four. I'll just put four right here, comma, and we need exact match. So I'll just put in false right here, and I'll close my brackets, then press enter. So we have New York. So I can just copy this down. I can just copy this down. Then I have that. Okay, let's now bring in. <coughs> let's bring in the country. Let's get the country. 
So I'm just going to get the country. Then I will take like two questions on VLOOKUP before I move to XLOOKUP. So I'm just going to say VLOOKUP equals to VLOOKUP equals to VLOOKUP. Our lookup value is right here, which is this, right? Then our table array is in this place. From here down to this place, and we need it to return the country, which is the last column. So if you count one, two, three, four, and five. So I have five. Then I need false. So, for, so that it's going to give me exact match. So I'm going to choose false. Then I'll close my bracket and press enter. So now I have this country. Do we understand this? We have questions now. You can raise your hand. You can raise your hand. You can raise your hand. I will just take two people before I move to X lookup. So you can raise your hand. I will give like one minute. If nobody raise hand, then we'll continue. You can raise your hand if you don't understand now. You have just one minute to do that. You can raise your hand. I should run the country again. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me quickly take Olua Kemi Abioye first. Please don't mute. Um, sorry, please. Good evening. Okay, good evening. Um, I entered VLOOKUP on my system, but I'm not seeing those things that it brought out for you, like the those um functions that you were able to enter. Are you able to enter? Do you just type VLOOKUP or equals to VLOOKUP? I mean, equals to VLOOKUP. And what does it show? It just looks for a value in the leftmost colon of a table and then returns a value in the same row from a colon you specify. It shows, it shows, it shows the formula, right? It and, but it didn't really equals to VLOOKUP. You... Something like this. Yeah. And it shows like this. Okay, yeah, it looks for value. Yeah, 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 yeah. It didn't bring yeah. all those other things. That you... if, you <laughs> bring that, those... if you press after select, after you are, uh, you, if you click on it, it's supposed to bring this out. Did you select it? Did or I select stop? what? Yeah, did you select the VLOOKUP or you just stopped somewhere around like this? Oh, no, I just typed it. Uh, so you have to select it. To select it, you can actually double click on it or so you just press tab. So if you press tab, then you have it. Uh, where do I select it? Is it not? If it shows like this, you can it, sh it will show down here like a blue box down here. It didn't show any blue box. So. Uh, okay. It doesn't show any blue box. You won't be able to read anything. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, I pressed it. The same name with question mark. Ash name you, question are you, mark. Are you joining on your laptop? No, no, I'm using my laptop and using my phone. I'm okay. joining on my phone. And... Okay, let's do it together. Equals to clear whatever you have. Okay. Equals to. Equals to. B lookup. So it's supposed okay. to show something like this. Does it still show something like this? Yes. yes. You have this blue box. Yes, I do. I do. Press tab. The tab on your keyboard. Mm -hmm. I was pressing it. So. Do you have it? Yeah, I no? have it. Yes, I have it. Are you the one that called me this afternoon? You said? Are you the one that called me this afternoon? No, I didn't call. I only sent a message in the morning time. Oh, you said the message that you cannot see conditional formatting, right? Yes, okay. I sent the message that. No problem, I can do that. Um, thank you. Okay, now someone said I should run the VLOOKUP again for this country. So I'm going to actually do that. Just going to use Compose Z to clear it. Then. If I come here, I can say equals to VLOOKUP. 
right? Our lookup value is this, right? Our table array is from this place, from the customer which contains the lookup value down here, right? And I need the country. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five. Right, so I just press five right there, comma, and I need false, exact match. So I'll just choose false, which is the exact match. I press my tab, then I'll close my brackets, press enter. So you have USA. So I can just copy this down and I have it. Any question on this? Do we have any question? Do we have any question? Okay, Mr. Ben, please unmute. Mr. Ben, Mr. Ben, you are the last person I'm going okay. to take for this question. Right? Okay. Evening, sir. Sorry, evening, sir. Well done, sir. Sorry, my question is very brief. You know, I'm using a um, phone, so sometimes I, when I want to look at something, it may not be as clear as maybe when I'm using laptop. So my question is that that um, exact is it exact um, value or exact something you just did? Hmm. Is it that is it the, is it the last column before the one you are working on? That figure of that column, the number of that column you enter. Before know, having is it the five or the four? Or... Yeah, the, the fifth one is talking about the very co the current uh, and when column you are working on. So now there's a last thing that appeared there that talked about exact is it exact value. Exact that last one you absolute uh, <laughs> that exact so math is it it's not it's not a column. So if you come up okay. true or false, so you choose false. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, sure. thank you, sir. You're welcome. Right. So now, after that, we have X lookup. X lookup is like the upgraded version of V lookup because V lookup is just like the car that can only go forward without backwards. So I say, why always first? Now, you have true is approximate match. So true will give you the one that is closer, closer to it. That is approximate. It might be closer, it might be more than that, right? It will not give you the original one, like the exact one. So the major, the reason why you should always choose false is because false will give you the exact match. The exact match. If you not look for the approximate, the one that exact, that match, that. So that's that. So I'm just going to clear all this. I'm just going to clear this too. And I'll use X lookup to do that. So now V lookup can only look from left to right. It cannot look from right to left. Now let's take for instance. I won't take your question for now. After I'm done with class, I'll take your question. So now let's say in a situation whereby my customer ID is right here. So let me move this customer ID from here down to here. Okay, I'm coming. Let me take your question now. Before I start explicitly, please unmute. You can unmute. Billy Kai. If I get your name correctly, we okay. have. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Yeah, I have unmuted. Are you hearing me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. I can hear you. Yes, 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 yes. You've gotten it correctly. Yeah. Um. Please. Uh, my question is. Uh, um. Yeah. My question is. Um. Like assuming you, if I started from the. Yeah. I'm saying. Uh, hello. I can hear you. I can hello. Hear you. I can hear you. Hello. I can hello? hear you. Hello. I can hear you. Hello. Hello? I said I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm saying, uh, assuming, yeah, I'm saying, assuming if I started from the Vietnam, you know, oh, I'm saying, uh, assuming if I started from the Vietnam, I'm saying, uh, assuming if I... I think I 
think his network is bad. So you join back, then you can ask this question. So in a situation whereby your customer ID is um, is right here, whereby it's not at the left. So VLOOKUP cannot help you with this. VLOOKUP cannot help you with this. In this situation whereby your customer ID is in the middle, right, and your full name is right here, so your customer, your VLOOKUP cannot help. So what we will use is XLOOKUP. Because VLOOKUP is just one way. It can only look from left to right. It cannot look backward. So if I'm looking for city and country, I can use VLOOKUP to look for it. But in a situation where I'm looking for the full name and gender, and my customer ID is right here, right? I can't use VLOOKUP. I can use XLOOKUP, right? So XLOOKUP can look both ways. That is from the left to the right or from the right to the left. Whereby VLOOKUP can only look from the left to the right. And VLOOKUP is a little bit complex, whereby XLOOKUP is, is very, very simple. So now you can see all these ones are giving error because I moved my customer ID from here to, to the middle. So I'm just going to select this and clear this down and clear it. So now, apart from customer ID, what else can be used? Nothing else can be used in this situation, in this type of data sets. Let me ID it. Nothing else can be used because the only relationship between this first sheet and the second sheet is the customer ID. Right? So you can only see the customer ID right in this sheet, and you can only see the customer ID in this sheet. Do you get? So we can only use customer ID to look for it. But if you are looking for the pricing, let's say the selling price and the cost price, if you look at this, so right here, you don't have the cost price, you don't have the customer ID. You only have the products, the products and their prices. So if you want to use VLOOKUP for that, you can, you can use products to look for the selling price and cost price. Okay, so, so let me use XLOOKUP now. So if I say right here, equals to X lookup, right? Our lookup value is the customer ID, right? So now, the next thing is the lookup array. You are just to select the column. So the column that contains your lookup value. So the column that contains the column, uh, the customer ID in this table. So all I just have to do is just select the column that contains the customer ID, comma, and what I needed to return is the name. So I'll just choose the full name. I'll just choose the full name as the return value. Then I can close my brackets and press enter. So all I can do is double click and I have this one. You have this. Do you understand this? So I should retake it. Do you understand why I should retake it? Hello, a bit. Okay. Let's let's do the name again. Let's do the name again. Now, equals to X lookup. Now, let me tell you, if you are using the older version, if you are using 2016, 2015, 2019 version, also you won't, you will not have X lookup. It's the people that are using the latest version that have X lookup. Start from 2021 and above. Those are the people that only have X lookup. For the lower version, from 2019 and below, there's no X lookup. So, right, I'll just say equals to X lookup and press my tab to select it. My lookup value is this customer ID. So, I'll just select the customer ID, right? And my lookup array, the column that contains the customer ID, which is right here, this customer ID column, in this customer sheet, I'll select all because that is where it's going to search. And what I needed to return is this full name. So I'll just select the full name. I needed to return the full name. Then I can close my bracket and press enter. So we should return the full name. So I can just copy this down 
and I have it. Let's do the same for gender. I say equals to X lookup. Our lookup value is this customer ID. Our lookup array is this customer ID column. And what I needed to return is the gender. So I can close my brackets and press enter. So this will return the gender for me. I can just copy this down and I have this. The next one is the city. So I can say equals to X lookup. Our lookup value is the customer ID, comma. Our lookup array is right here. I just select this comma and I need you to return the city. I can close the bracket and press enter. So this will return the city for me. I can just copy this down. Let's do the same for country. So I can say equals to X lookup. Our lookup value is this. Our lookup array is this one, which is the customer ID, and you need it to return the city. So I can close my bracket and press enter. So, uh, sorry, the country rather. So let me quickly change this. I'm going to close. Uh, okay, I'm just going to change this from D to E. Because E is the country. So I just put E right here and press enter. So this will return the countries for me. Then I can just copy this down. I'll just resize. So that is how V and X lookup works. So now V lookup, so how do we now work with since we are using the older version? So if you are using the older version, you can only work with V lookup. You can't work with X lookup. You have to upgrade before you'll be able to work with X lookup. You have to upgrade to the latest version. So that is that about that. Now, for the next question that I want to answer before start. Before we call it a day, and before start taking another uh, the, the question that we should talk about in our next class. So um, I'm coming. Okay, Madam Fon, please unmute. Um, thank you. Um, when I click, when I try to do the S lookup now, immediately I put in the equal to S lookup, mm. and I click on my value, which is the customer ID. Mm. It came up with the order oh how did he have the exclamation mark before the b2 uh, that is just saying is just say is just specifying the sheet's name you, if you check the so, sheet name is order right so it's yes. just specifying so it's not you can leave it like that or okay they can leave no, it okay. into your work or you can clear it out you can clear all the formula Move away so, from the cell, then move back to the so, cell and retype the formula. Again. So which means, which means it doesn't disturb me looking for the. No, it doesn't. Um, it doesn't CD? disturb. It doesn't disturb. Okay. okay. Okay, I'll try. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, someone said, "Can you explain when to use VLOOKUP?" I've explained it. If you have the latest version, you don't have to use VLOOKUP. You can use XLOOKUP. You can use XLOOKUP if you have the latest version. But if you are using the older version, you can only use VLOOKUP because there's no X lookup on the older version. So that's that. Now for the um, Madam Kirby that said she does not see conditional formatting. So right up here, we have something called the ribbon display option. If you check up here, we have it called the ribbon display option, right? So if you click on this ribbon display option, if you click on show tab, if you click on auto add ribbon, this will take away all your ribbons and tab. If you, you can only click on this top to bring it back and when you choose whatever you want to choose, it will go, right? But now, if you need it to show only the tabs, you can click on the tabs. This will show only the tabs. It's going to show only the tabs. So if you click on the home tab, you should be able to see the conditional formatting. You should be able to see the conditional formatting. But for me, I don't like using it like this. I don't like using it like this. So what I do is I use, if we click on this ribbon display option, 
then it says show tabs and commands. Show tabs and commands. So I'll just click on it, then it should bring out all the ribbons. It brings out all the ribbons for me. Where I have my conditional formatting. So someone is still asking me that I should tell, I should talk about the difference between X and VLOOKUP. Like I said, I've explained it earlier. VLOOKUP can only look from left to right. VLOOKUP can only look from left to right. Whereby, your, whatever you are looking for must be, um, your lookup value, which is your lookup array, must be at the left. Your return array must be must always be at the right. So VLOOKUP can only look forward. It cannot look backward. Let's say something like this. Now we have my customer ID here, and I need it to return the full name, right? VLOOKUP cannot do this because it doesn't look backward. It can only look forward. So you can only use VLOOKUP to get the city and the country in this data. So, but now XLOOKUP can look in both directions. It can look forward and it can look backward. It can look forward and it can look backward. So um, let me stop recording. And um, so that we don't have a longer video.